Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Ways. And in this video tutorial, you will learn about static keyword. So, when a data member of any class is declared static, no object is needed to create to access these data members. Remember, in the last video, you had to create object to access method or properties of any class. But if you declare a data member like properties and method as static, then you don't have to create object of class. So here are a few points which you need to remember regarding static keyword. In Java and C sharp, very concept of static class. In C sharp and Java, static class cannot be inherited, but there is no concept of a static class in types in. However, static members can be declared in types in. The difference between static and variable is that the variable data is overwritten during program execution, while if the data member is static, it holds the previous value during program execution. And as I mentioned earlier, to access static data member, you don't need to create object of the class. You can directly access these data members using class name. So let's see with an example. So I created a file called static.ts. Now let me write a class here. Class static uh, one. Declare a class called static jumper. Now let me show you first without static keyword. Okay. So I'll write here public public num and then number data type. And then function or show. Inside show or we can have switch in slide the variable here one inside so I write here <coughs> console dot log console dot log and then here uh, the number each then plus now This dot now. This dot now. Now let's create object here. O is a equal to chart. Where O is a equals to new new static number. Now obj dot show so let's compile it and run tsc static dot ts no static dot ts so, sorry, wrong. Now, we will check if the value is all writing or not. So, let's write this function inside for loop. We need to write this function inside for loop. So, where i equals to 1 i less than equal to 10 i plus plus now this function should repeat 10 times let's see if the value shows same or is get or written and here i will write plus plus that means Every time this function will be called show function, and one will one should be added every time. 
So it's to display 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But so let's first compile it again. Yes. Then So, as expected, it is showing from 1 to 10 because we have initialized the value here only. Now, let's remove it here and let's pass a variable from here, parameter. Then, we we'll write here this dot, sorry, yeah, this dot num, this of num equal to a. Now, this num plus plus. Then now, here we will write 1. So every time this one will go here and it should come here and it will increase every time 1. Now let's compile again. Then run it. No. So you can see the value value is getting overwritten here. So it is displaying one 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 while it should increase every time one. So as I told you that uh, if the data member is variable, then it's not possible to hold the previous data. But in case of static. It is possible to hold the previous data. So let's change this program to show you. Let me change this program to show you how the static number works. So first, I write here static number. And then this method should be also static. Static. And then we don't need data. This actually. And here is to non plus plus. And as I told you that we don't need to create object for static uh, member. So now here we have we can directly write to class name. And also we don't need to pass parameter. Rather, we will initialize here dot dot num dot num. So initial value we are initializing to this class here. Now let's compile it and see the result. In 10. So how is it possible? It is possible because as I told you that the static member, static when a data member is declared static, okay, in that case it it retains the value. So initially we we assign the value one, and then next time the for loop runs. Every time this function is called and one is added here. That means the previous value is not overwritten, but in the previous case, uh, no value was getting overwritten. So that is the power of static method and a static variable. So that was class and static members in TypeScript. So that's it. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.